As a Christian, whose word do you believe? God's word or the world's? According to an emerging trend study conducted by the Princeton Religion Research Centers, published by George Gallup and the Barna Research Group, born-again Christians differ little from non-believers on a number of basic Christian beliefs. To determine who in the study would be classified as Christian or non-believer, the pollsters asked participants three questions. Did the pollie have a born-again experience? Does the pollie believe the Bible to be the infallible Word of God? Has the pollie witnessed his or her faith? Those who affirmed all three questions were placed in the Christian category. Those who did not affirm all three questions were placed in the non-believers category for the study. Here is some of what that study revealed. When asked, is there any such thing as a Holy Spirit, six of every ten of all participants responded by saying the Holy Spirit is a symbol of God's presence or power, but is not a living entity. The study concluded that 55%, over half, of born-again believers reject the Holy Spirit as a living entity. When asked, is there any such thing as a literal devil, 52% of all born-again Christians deny the existence of Satan as a living entity. Among Catholics, that percentage rises to 72%. On a number of other issues, ranging from astrology to ghosts, here is a comparison of what the two groups believe. As you can see from the chart, which represents occultism, the study revealed little difference in belief systems between many Christians and non-believers with regard to what they believe. The Barna Group also learned in a separate study that among born-again Christians, 45% believe that if Christians are good enough, they can earn a place in heaven. 35% believe that Jesus committed sins like other people and 35% do not believe that Jesus was physically resurrected from the dead. Given those figures, roughly 4 in 10 born-again Christians do not believe the basics, the foundation of their faith. They do not understand that sin separates mankind from a holy God. They do not understand that sin, even one, is the cause of corruption and death. They do not understand why a human sacrifice had to be made from one who had no sin, so that death could be overcome by all through faith in that one. The fact that born-again Christians do not believe in the physical resurrection of Jesus from the grave is appalling, because belief in the resurrection of Jesus is our hope, the very core of Christian faith. If people who call themselves born again do not believe in the resurrection of Jesus, into what do they believe they are born again? Based on the polls conducted by George Gallup and the Barna Research Group, roughly one in five Christians in the USA is engaged in occultism, even while they worship God. Truly, even among our own number, many hearts are far from the Lord. Is it any wonder our people die from lack of knowledge? Is it any wonder our people are confused where to find healing?